Francisco in Anabuti is where I found immortality as my reality. Hindi, Hindi. In different situations, if I really needed counsel, Daddy Junkie would always be in San Francisco. And it's only happened a few times that I really needed counsel because I was about to do something stupid. <laughs> It just happens that Dottie was in San Francisco, so I asked Dottie, you know, what to do, and Dottie gave me the advice that made me know that what she was saying is precisely what Bubba wants me to do. And so I used that advice and got me through those moments. But, you know, I've had good experiences with lots of Dotties. The thing with the personal meetings, each blessing was something that was going to take years to materialize. And then once they materialized, you could see Baba was, you know, telling me something powerful. So powerful that it wouldn't materialize in a year or two. It would take 15 years or 20 years. But then it would manifest. Mama told me that you can't forget me for even a second. And what I pulled from that truth was that as you pass through your Brahmin life, if you do it studiously, not a single second will pass that has relevance that you know what Baba wants you to do in that moment. And if you always know what Baba wants you to do, then Baba is saying, you can't forget me. You know, you can't. You may not follow Srima, okay? But you will know what Srima is, <laughs> you see. And I mean, it's not that I didn't. And, and, and many times Srima will be something that's unreasonable. Many times it'll be something that you can't do. But if you just start doing it, then Baba will make it where, yes, you can do it. You know, it's, a, it's just an element there that uh, I was saying, if you show courage, he'll help. When the help is required, you'll experience that help. So that was one year. One year, Baba said that I was a spiritual growth. And he said, Bubba's children on earth cause the stars to reverse direction throughout the corporeal world. And this reverse of the stars causes all the elements to become oceans of introversion themselves. People, and especially deities, they have bodies that sparkle. That sparkle radiates through their clothing, which itself is sparkling. Mother says you put on a shiny dress. This happens when all 900,000 ancestor souls are in one kingdom. Before all 900,000 are assembled, the stars will reverse. The corporeal world won't become new, pure, every element, pure. I think the last couple of days, Baba's just showing me different times where he has caused, say, magical episodes to prevail in this Brahmin life. Because I really am amused that I was fortunate enough to have Baba alter reality in my life while I had no way of detecting that he had done that until many years afterwards. But whatever he had done was essential for me to survive and prosper. And I think it happens to all Brahmins at different times. And they just don't know that Baba has caused the 
different reality to prevail than the actual reality that was prevailing. For me, I survived through those magical episodes to it's, it's, it's happened. And once I became a Brahmin, I can see that it happened when it happened. But before then, it was hard to detect. And so I, he's just showing me some of those scenes where, you know, it happened. It wasn't reality, but it was serviceable. And that was good to see. Um, you just have the thoughts that whatever Bob is saying, you have this absolute understanding that it's absolutely true. Advanced party. Well, I think Mario's in the advanced party growing up, and I like that. This is Macy Pye speaking to all of us about yoga. The first time I went to India, and in 1981, I was taking leave from Baba, and Baba told me that I was a great yogi, and asked me, was there anything about yoga that I didn't know? And I'm eight months in knowledge, so everything about yoga, I don't know. So Baba said that I would get a, have a lot of experiences, and in the end, there'd be nothing about yoga I don't know. And like any blessing you get from Baba, you just have to file it because it's just, it don't make sense. It, it includes too much time, too many experiences, and so, we filed that away, and as I'm listening to Morley, churning Bubba's points, one day Bubba talked about astrologers. And Bubba said that astrologers think because planets and the stars are big and the humans are small, that the stars control what humans become. But Bubba said that, you see, human beings they control the stars. He says souls control the stars, okay? I found that away, and what I realized with that point was that sometimes Bubba says souls, sometimes Bubba says all souls. But when he wants to say all souls, he'll say all souls. And when he says souls, he's speaking about the 900,000. If he's not speaking about them, he'll speak about you souls and speak about the ancestor soul sovereigns. Piling that away, I realized that our stage collectively will control the direction that the stars move. 